For me, the Barn Isle, I mean, it's a link back to our history, our, our, our folklore and our stories of the Banshee. And once they were abundant on the land here, and through whatever reasons, we've lost these beautiful birds. And if you ever see one, you'll stop and, and be totally amazed from the sight that you've just seen, and you, you won't ever forget it. I mean, the Barn Isle is an important bird. It's, it's an indicator of the countryside. It's an indicator of the health of the wider countryside as well. Barn Isles are like any bird. Um, they need two things. They need uh, good foraging habitat, and they also need good nesting habitat in order to survive. Um, so ultimately, we have a lot of good natural foraging habitat across Northern Ireland. What we don't have is a lot of good nest sites. Um, a lot of the old buildings that tr they traditionally would have nested in are knocked down or, for example, are damaged in the winds. Um, and what we've also seen is that um, trees are blown down as well. The benefit of the Heritage Lottery Fund actually was the fact that it allowed us over the period of three years to really target areas that we hadn't had much in the way of community engagement. What we're looking at is a barn owl pellet. You can see a lot of, of the skull and you can also see a lot of the bones. This is probably either a mouse or a rat and that's the type of evidence we're looking for. We erected upwards of 30 boxes during the course of the project and what the boxes do is they provide an artificial habitat for barn owls to nest in, which means that we can turn what might be suitable habitat for barn owls, but without the suitable nest site, into good barn owl areas where they can reproduce and survive. Our job is to monitor and take care of the game birds, also deal with vermin, and a lot of conservation work will go into that, offering the wildlife uh, a sanctuary. The seeds are great for the pheasant and they'll come here and pick off them seeds. As you can see a lot of the seeds are already gone and then obviously the mice, the field mice and stuff like that would feed off these and then the owls like the mice. Ultimately that money has allowed us, has acted as a catalyst to allow us to go from strength to strength with barn owl conservation and in the future what we're hoping is that we'll still continue to deliver the national survey um, provide new nests in the habitat for barn owls and really start to increase not just the land managed um, sympathetically for barn owls and for the, the, wider, the wider species across the countryside but actually to engage more people in what is a fantastic bird.